Hey, what's up guys, I'm Ben. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a second year doctor physical therapy student, uh, a certified strength conditioning specialist, and currently a dunker for THP. I just wanna do a quick review of the Victory Gold Soles and compare them to the Move Game Day Pros. I know these are two of the most popular performance insoles on the market, but a lot of the YouTube videos you see are usually sponsored, so you don't really know if, there's the, if, if, if it's their actual opinion or if they're kind of just being paid to say what they're saying. So here's an honest review. I'm not sponsored by e either company. And I've actually been using the VKs on and off for like five years. So I have a very big sample size of like what these things can and cannot do. So the biggest pros, they're, 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 they're durable. So they'll probably last you around two years a piece. This is my second pair. And I think this pair is on like year three. Now they do have some cracks. I think like some of the carbon fibers come off the foam, but they're old. So they are durable. They do add some spring to the shoe. I don't think they increase your vert by like two inches. So if you see a review on YouTube or Instagram where they like all of a sudden go from like not dunking to dunking, it's probably fake. And, or they're just excited about their new toy, but that's kind of a placebo effect that wears away after like a month. But I th overall, they probably increase your vert by like half an inch to maybe an inch, but probably nothing more than that. So I'd say like, like a, overall like half inch net gain. And then I think the biggest pro though is they do decrease your knee pain. I have found in the periods of time where I have these in my b-ball shoes that uh, my jumper's knee, like patellar tendinopathy, uh, feels better. And I've also, and I did put some of my uh, college teammates on them back in the day and they reported the same thing. So overall, pretty much everybody that has used them has reported like better knee pain outcomes. So, and I would say the same thing. Um, cons biggest besides just the, obviously the price 150 is crazy. And even with a discount code, it goes down to like 120, but they really should probably be like 60 or 80. Um, but besides price, the biggest con is actually their weight. So I know they say that they're like super light and whatever, but they're heavy. Like they are significantly heavier than probably any other insert that you'll buy. And for jumping, it's really not that big of a deal, but you do notice it when you're, uh, when you're playing. Like the only reason I stopped wearing them in college was because I felt like they were so heavy that they were affecting my chain of direction ability. And like, I was like half a step slower. And then sure enough, when I switched to like a lighter insole, um, I wasn't necessarily jumping as high, like maybe like half inch decrease, but I was way lighter on my feet just because my shoes didn't weigh like a pound. Like I'm six, six and wearing a size 14 shoe. And with these things in my zoom freak fours, which are a very light shoe, weighed over a pound so if that could do an idea of kind of how heavy these things are so like that's the biggest um con and i'm i did order some so they, they, these are the golds they also make red and black ones the red ones are for track the black ones are for, are for football so i did order some uh black ones which are thinner so i'm also hoping they're lighter and i'll give a review in the future to see if those are like if those feel better than, than the golds in basketball shoes and the other con is they don't fit in low tops very well. You do get a little bit of heel slippage. So if, if you want to get these, probably also have a mid or a high top basketball shoe. And then now for the Move Game Day Pros, I've only had these for like a week, but because I was so like disappointed in the performance, I felt like I, I should just give a review just to let you guys know. Um, so pros, they are really comfortable and they're soft, like, it's a good, it'd be a good like casual shoe wear or, or good to put in your casual shoes. I did like this like little heel cushion thing that felt good on like all my heel toe transitions or like, you know, like my D cells during a pull up or something like that. And then of course they're lighter than the VKs and um, they're like half the price, they're like 60 bucks. But I felt like the cons far away the pros. So the con, the biggest con is like, they just don't have any bounce to them at all. Um, they're, they're almost too soft. Like it felt like I was jumping off, like jumping out of like a pillow. Like I was putting force into the ground, but I was getting like nothing in return and my force just like dissipating. Like I almost would go as far to say that my performance like decreased in them because they were so soft. I don't know what it is about this like foam part they have on the, like on the forefoot here, but it returns like nothing. And my court feel felt bad. Honestly, in the VKs, the court feel feels okay. 
but these, but but uh, but Corfields and these did not feel very good. And the sock covering they have is actually really slick. So I was slipping around um, within my shoe, like I had a lot of foot displacement, which I did not like. And really, like I don't think anybody would like that. So yeah, don't waste your money with these. If you want to put them, if you like stand for long periods of time during the day, then or maybe like a runner would it would enjoy these like just because they're soft and they do give good arch support and maybe over time they would like decrease lower extremity wear and tear but if you're looking for something that'll like make your shoe better like these are going to be pretty much no better than the stock insoles but overall yeah the vks are way better than these things and if you have the money go ahead and spend on the vks like they are going to help you out a little bit um, but just don't expect some drastic increase in your uh, athleticism and going from like not dunking to dunking because like that's just I mean really the only thing that can do that is a good training program so sign up for THP shameless plug there but hope this review is helpful